my friends. Welcome to the show. This here's the show, and what a show it is. So here's me watching my own show. The only chance I get to watch the show. When I'm done, I like to cathartically watch it with you guys. Here's the beginning of my... I think that's the very last thing. I good gotta gotta see the show. I hey, sure. whatever. Two people in the chat. What a crock of shit! I fucking hate it sometimes. It's very discouraging. CBC claims that Justin Trudeau received a standing ovation for a speech in the EU Parliament, failing to mention that over. 90% of the parliament left in protest before he began. God. Various images for you. Not sure. Guard post or steps going down? I don't know. This is some civilization under here. Look. Bam. Oh no, actually that's an aqueduct. Now I'm starting to see it. It looked built right into the cliff there. Sorry. Optical illusion. Obviously a melted building down here. Anyway. I thought this was right underneath the houses. You're going to see some bombshells today. I like, I like dropping some of the bombshells. It's my favorite thing to do. Goo goo. Beautiful little temple, church. And here's what it looks on the outside. Mountain. Look at this. Carved with a chisel and a hammer. Oh yeah, carved man, up here too. They just jumped ahead. They decided to carve this. Wow, eh? Holy smack dabbers. And then this is a show, a travel show I watch. This guy is in Saudi Arabia. Not allowed to go to Mecca. How he went to Mecca, but not really, because he's Jewish. Anyway, in the melted walls. Here, you know what? You know, this is inscribed in the melted walls, obviously. But you get this rounded doorway action here. We're going to have this scene again in our show of 82 photos. Here, we're looking at mud huts with those stick and mud roofs. But this is carved. Okay, people. Right, sure. <clears throat> you should get the whole line of bricks going down one side. It just is what it is. I don't know what it is. It looks melted. And this is destroyed. There's the old mosque. There's the... Formerly big set of buildings there, I suppose. Here they're going through some debris, ruins. There's the, you saw the host of the show there. These are inscribed on the, on the walls. This is what they call the elephant stone. But we know this to be just an archway in a building. <clears throat> You see another one in the back here. There's an archway set into the mountain. You probably see more. You live. Here's this melting effect, this toffee, toffee defect. Up the top here, you're seeing the roof. Maybe pockets of survival here. Obviously up here too. Tiny little people. Now jumping to Korea, North Korea, with our question about the super weird building. 
three falling walls against leaning up against each other. What I was saying was <clears throat> that this could be faked photos, but um, here's the construction that they're giving us made completely of cement and was constructed in such a way that it was the tallest structure made of complete cement with very little rebar. <clears throat> but stood there for so long, incomplete, unfinished, that uh, it was uh, a real sore spot with the North Koreans. Although what I'm saying, this could be just a tower in the center, energy gathering device anyway. Um, Titusville Mountain Ski, uh, and then what do we have right next door? We're looking at some quarries again in the picture. This one's the Colosseum, or do you think it's a replica? It's a replica. And I don't believe the Colosseum has this little front piece on it. Maybe it's missing. Colosseum there. I'll leave the photos in the Instagram if I forgot last time. Sorry about that. I still have them. and uh, It's getting harder to uh, reference my sources. This was for some research I was doing into quarries. Looking at the red brick underneath all this. Either underneath it. You can see pockets right here. And then uh, most likely scorched, scratched away, rather. And then these perfectly square doors. You see this. Now, quarry, what, what, what we see are like mine, abandoned mines. That's what we're looking at now. Starting to get in. But look at this. Why would you, is this... So that must be a higher level up there. That's where they're doing their quarrying. This is what I see in our, like over in Ottawa too, these perfect square windows in there. And how the hell would this ever come to pass? This is rocked over just pillars with a road on top. Okay. But what you see... This is Cory Abandoned Mines. <sighs> what they tell us are abandoned mines. But really are just the ruins of the old world. They got to put a label on it so we don't look there. But it's everywhere you look. Look. This would have been original here, this. It's poured cement. A capstone probably with... Antiquitech or some cross sticking out that was damaged. This would have been brick originally. Tops of a building. Whoopsie. I hope I didn't screw it up there. Or this mic slipped off the table. So this this is a mine or I don't know. That's not a mine, but it looks like mine blocks down below. This popped up when I was searching out abandoned mines. But I'm skeptical for some reason. This doesn't look right to me. Okay, this is what comes up. There was a couple of other photos. Old Quarry HD. That's what I'm searching out. And you see this kind of melted, melted buildings. With trees popping out and everything. Look at this. Melted right over the trees. Over the rocks too. Trees are implicated. How old is this tree then? 100 years old maybe. So there's your answer right there man. The melted building effect is less than a century old. This is happening, probably even to this day. 
Some bombshells. Here's the structure I'm looking at. Look. Tunnels leading everywhere in these mountains. Like, bam. Oh. And then the obvious corners up top that I would be looking out for. Oh, boy. Okay. So we're getting the usual subject, um, the usual suspects in the picture. You know, mining devices and cranes and whatnot. Now, okay. Is this staged? You let me know. You got the blurry guy in the foreground. Check. Horse and buggy. Check. You got, what else do we see here? A crane, some sort of crane that they hooked up for the stone that they're taking, what, six or seven of these on this tiny little wagon with no shocks or anything. But look what's in the foreground. What's all this? Like abandoned... This is like a, the top of a ship, you know, when they had the ropes that pull for a crane almost, I guess. And then what else? There's just technology down here. It looks like a crane. They're taking some of the stone. I suppose it's possible. I don't want to say it's impossible. If I'm not there. And then this, there's this. This is in the States, in Tennessee. The Coke ovens. You'll see it again coming up. The Coke oven ruins. Here's another abandoned mine. And this one too. Look under the water there. Is that water? I don't know. But up here, they got like all kinds of shit tacked to the top. It's wacky. It's wacky world. Did I see this one? Yeah. There's another one that was probably melted in the last hundred years. <clears throat> I mean, that's what it's telling me. I'll go back to that maybe. Another abandoned, abandoned mine. Look. Once you go there, I'm telling you, it's there's no going back. You won't be able to unsee. The, so they got in there and made some pillars, did they? Is that what you're telling? Me? Why would they do that? Why wouldn't they just skip to this? You know, stick to the script. So that's not a melted building under there. Look at the more detail under right here on the right. Is that another like pillar in relief or whatever you call it? It's not a fire and it wasn't carved. I'm sorry for this swearing. And usually where the these lookouts are, right below. You look below and there's usually real clues. Look at this melted shit. Okay. You don't have to look that far. I'm saying I'm covering more ground with photos than I can with my feet. I'm a pretty good researcher this way. Look at this. These are just poured concrete mold type building exterior ruins. And that's what you find in a mine. This. Look at this. Why would you build such a thing at a, an abandoned mine at a mine, period? So, is that what you would call like a... Is that to look at the stars, this thing here? Or is that a silo, you think? Put it in the comments. What the hope and fucking hell. Okay, so more abandoned mine structures. That's what you'll find. Not sure why they would build such things like this. Like maybe aqueduct or something. 
<clears throat> going the right way. Perfectly square entrances. Cooked out building. Completely cooked, except for this. Maybe that's new. But the wood frames are still okay, but the house is cooked out. You're going to have to make what you will of this. This is just, I guess down here would be the best evidence underneath all this mess. You can see the pillars holding up. A little closely, maybe you'll spot more stuff in there. Frick. So here's what they tell us. Yeah, this is just abandoned mine. Nothing to see here. The door lentils or whatever you call them, the door. They're all steel. Here are the Coke oven ruins again. It wouldn't be hard to build such a structure, I must admit. I mean, if you know what you're doing and you had the bricks, I suppose. I don't know. I'm not there to see how large these things are, but yeah, could be ancient. But look at what's below your feet, most likely. Like you're walking here, just, you know, you don't even realize what's below, perhaps, you know, half the time out in the forest. Abandoned mines. What am I going to call this episode? Abandoned Mines and uh, Coke Oven Ruins. Just abandoned ruins from mines, mine ruins, whatever. There's that angle we're always seeing and they're cutting on that angle, boom. It's a footprint for a building. Coke Oven Museum, Tennessee. I'd love to move to Nashville, man. I'd have a lot of work. All right, you guys. Yeah, I'll take care. No problem in the problem in the star. Maybe I'll get him tomorrow.